Yes, thank you, Semra. And thank you to our players on the stage in advance for no doubt the performances they're about to put on, Wes. I saw you gesturing to me the number three. What's the significance here? So the equation is actually pretty simple for both of these players. Fabiano needs one point from this game and that sees him over the line, potentially if results go his way. However, for Isco to even enter the discussion or the realms of possibility of going through to the grand finals, he needs a win by three clear goals. And that's just to even enter the conversation. Uh, like we said, thank, thank heavens for the boffins that are behind the scenes who will work this one out. Because again, I wouldn't want to try and figure out who needs to go through here because this is actually potentially going to turn out to be a very, very tight group. Well, there is Isco taking his familiar seat on the stage now. He's been up there twice already. This will be his third. But what we haven't seen is Real Fabiano on the left-hand side of your screen. 22 years old from France is our Europe and Africa regional winner. Has put on some fantastic performances so far to get himself into this position. And it'll be a tough opponent, I think, for Isco to really prove himself and, well, win by that three-goal swing that he needs. Yeah, well, that 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 is going to be the case. Is is he's got to go up against a an opponent that's already got four points in the the bank, as it were. Of course, if Ralph Fabiano wins this game, he's completely home and hosed and through. He'll be on seven points, and of course, then eyes will then turn to. Naples versus Shishi, of course. The game that we've got our attention to is what we have on the screen here. It's Fabiano in the black, and it is Isco in the white and red. And a home strip that we normally see of Bayern Munchen. That's absolutely right, Wes. It is now or never. The job is simpler for Fabiano, but Isco, as long as he's in it, he will believe in himself, no doubt. In the home strip and threatening Fabiano's goal. We did get a good glimpse as well as to what these players are playing for. Of course, looking to try and represent Bayern München in the eFootball Championship 2024 World Finals in Tokyo later on and the opportunity to raise one of those two trophies at the end of today. One for mobile and one for console. Two representatives, Wes. We just can't wait to find out which two it will be from our remaining players. It's been a fantastic day so far and Isco will hope it can only get better as he has possession on that far side but his cross sadly can't beat the first man yeah those eagle eyed among you will notice that the two trophies you saw at the start of today's stream are in club colours of the teams that are playing so be a nice little prize for them to take home if they can take one of them with them Sane for Isco cannot quite connect on the cross. So Fabiano in possession now. We saw results from him off stream have been very impressive, drawing with Naples and then obviously that victory against Shishi, who we just saw in our previous match on the stream. He's just been quietly going about his business and I said it at the top of the show. It's that type of player that just slips under the radar that can be a real thorn in the side for some of the so-called favourites in this type of competition. Yeah, it's almost as though that Fabiano is almost turning into the sleeper hit of this uh, console side of today's proceedings. Certainly seems to be very capable on the sticks as we see that ever-ending depth chart of French e-football players of high calibre. 
We've seen plenty of them in past iterations of eSports within eFootball. Might be a brand new one here. Quick free kick taken off Ooh. the bar. Fabiano going straight for goal from the free kick. It was very close. I think this goal was all of us just then. Respecting the effort from range. Twenty minutes gone. There's been a fair amount of fouls so far from Isco. He'll be hoping that that disciplinary record won't come back to bite him here in this match. Musiala for Fabiano. Coleman back to him now inside the box. He's gathering a bit of. Speed, but his, I mean, his progress has stopped short. It's opening 25 has been very kind to him. Here's your results so far today. We will keep an eye on Akshishi and Naples' scoreline as things progress here because that will be, will be being played parallel to this match you're watching on stream, and both are almost intrinsically linked as to the results of this group. Isco now a chance to come forward. Musiala. Nice little lofted ball to Harry Kane. Takes a touch and it's right at Neuer. Tell keeps it alive. I think the danger is gone for now. Fabiano just getting a little taste of what Isco is capable of in that attacking final third. to Harry Kane, but he has just strayed offside, sadly. It's not been kind to him here today, <laughs> that offside line, and Isco is just urging Harry Kane to get just a little bit further back, start that run a little bit later. The ever-animated Mexican on the stage. I was going to say, it'd be perfectly fine if he was playing with a motion controller. Harry Kane here for Fabiano. Dispossessed, and so far this result definitely suits Fabiano. Sitting on four points already in this group, he knows a point would secure his chance in that grand final later on commentated by Thomas Muller and also with the added flair of it being a knockout game that means a draw will not do we need a result so extra time and penalties if they're needed will be called upon let's go towards the end here of the first half in his final group game it's found Davies on that far side stunning cross in delict away has been indicated. And now Fabiano at the end of the first half can maybe search for his own opening goal but he's giving it away and Mecano steps in I think Let's see how generous the referee wants to be here there might be a chance for one more attack but as Neuer comes it will Signal the end of the first half, nil-nil, Wes. Fabiano, the much happier of the two as it stands. Yeah, absolutely. In terms of the game, there's not really been uh, a lot of opportunities. We've seen, I think, there was two shots total uh, between both teams in this game. Of course, that is not going to do if you are Isco. However, if you're Fabiano, you'd be more than happy with that, of course if results go uh, his way he will have himself a place in the grand final of course he may even go on and win this game so that may take the question mark completely out of the uh, out of content or out of the discussion 
believe that's Tell for Fabiano, just coming back from an offside position there. As the sides have swapped in the second half, it will be Isco still in that home strip, but now attacking right to left. He's the man who needs goals. Frenchman comes forward, Fabiano with Musiala. Gets into the feet of Kane, who finds Tell. This is a real chance, almost off the woodwork, but Kimmich is there! It's Kimmich for Fabiano! It took 51 minutes to break the deadlock. But that is a goal that puts him in prime position now, West, to be featuring in the console grand final later on today. Yeah, it was great patience there, and it was, again, a good little knock there for Harry Kane. Tell, tell takes the strike, and it's, uh, I believe it was Joshua Kimmich that was mopping up there, and you'll see it here again, just one neat flick. Tell hits the post. Fortune very much sat there with Fabiano, tucked it home, and again, knows that he's just took one big step towards today's console grand final. What a goal that could be. Fabiano, just 22 years old, our Europe and Africa regional winner for Bayern München, finds himself in a very solid position here at the club finals. Back underway, following the goal, Fabiano. Holto, a 1-0 lead, coming forward here with Tell. Musiala now, dancing around the edge of the box, has a couple of players for company, that's freed up, Tell! Oh, it's a second! The one-two punch from Fabiano. Doubles his lead. And that position now has become commanding in the group stages. Yeah, I think we saw the international symbol for it's game over, it's done from Isco. I think he understands that with that goal, it pretty much settles that we will see Raul Fabiano in our console grand final. Coolness from the Frenchman. And you see there, because the old saying goes, nada mas, no more, no more. Well, he's been such a fantastic character, Isco. But it would take a the attendance for this match was series of calamitous errors from Fabiano, who has been solid. As he threatens to extend his talent for Isco to feature further on in this competition. Fouls like that have not helped his case today. Yeah, this is that first glimpse of Raul Fabiano on the live stream here today. Very, very impressive. He went for goal last time. Much more inviting. This time he's tried to sneak in under the wall. Very crafty indeed, but Neuer put down to his left-hand side. It's the eFootball dark art. So trying to take your, your free kick with a second free kick taker. It doesn't really allow your opponent to get their manual goalkeeper set. And once they've made a choice, they are all at sea. Oh, Fabiano here, plenty of men over. It's Harry Kane denied. Really strong chance for Fabiano. Just works the man advantage. Had a couple of men over on the far side. Took the strike on with that. Players of the week, Harry Kane. It's rare to see the Englishman not convert those types of chances. Yeah, he is, as we mentioned earlier, an apex predator. It's interesting as well, of course, as we said, in terms of the 
the substitutes that both of these players have at, uh, at disposal. Of course, we've mentioned the fact that Thomas Muller is being used as a super sub. We've got Chupo Moting who has that similar uh, play skill that he's involved in his card. And more importantly as well, though, it's the physicality of Chupo Moting. It's almost a like for like uh, replacing Harry Kane. Muller has a little bit more technical uh, technical ability to him and he's a little bit more of a, uh, a on the floor type of footballer rather than an aerial presence. Fabiano's corner knocked on by Pumacana. Number he's in towards Tell but away by Isco and Sadly, is if it stays the way things are, we have two winners in Barcelona from the Americas region. Sadly, I think we may have two new regions. Thomas Muller here for Isco can't quite connect on the the swan dive header, but that's left big, big gaps at the back. Chupamoting for Fabiano. As I said, two winners both of our players from the Americas region back in Barcelona one out and will be representing the Catalan club With Isco on the brink of elimination here it looks like we will have two new regions represented and Fabiano well he's looking very good Our Europe and Africa winner showing why he performed so well to get to this stage. Absolutely, and cast an eye to a potential final. Of course, we're still waiting for a little bit of news on, on the Naples versus Shishi game, but you can imagine the game between Fabiano and Naples finished as a draw in the group stage. Are we sensing that if that is the final, could we potentially be seeing extra time penalties? Because we, as you quite rightly said, we need a winner. and. Uh, we, we are going to be joined by a, a German. We are two Englishmen. We have a lot of history about penalty shootouts and certainly we'll all be enthralled and stuck to a screen if that does turn out to be the case. But as of right now, it looks as though Isco is going to be going down on his sword here because fortunately it doesn't look as though he's going to get, as we said, it was a th three goal swing that he needed. I mean, he'd have to score five in the last 10 in-game minutes. And I know we've both seen some incredible comebacks, but it very much falls into the improbable kind of category, and it's borderline impossible. Just purely based on the amount of time left, you're right, Wes. In the final 10 in-game minutes. It would take a freak swing to see that scenario play out. Tell though into Zaragoza and it's one of the players you mentioned, Wes. One to look out for. Finishes a fantastic move from Fabiano. When you watch that one back, it's the super cancel that really makes the play there because it, it's almost like a momentary lapse in the players you see on the screen. And we'll see it back here again. So first of all, we're seeing so the player reactions, but we'll see it again here. It's here. That little super cancel just allows enough space to tell, just to move himself away from the defender, find the through ball. And as you said, Brian Zaragoza, as you said, highly rated Spanish player has been brought in to the ranks at Bayern München. And especially in this type of mode, he's a very handy player to have at your disposal. 3-0 to Fabiano, looking a very cool customer. He's searching for more, maybe a statement of intent for his future rival in the, in the final later on this evening. And you're right, Wes, it's those little inputs to super cancel for, for those maybe new to watching eFootball. You almost queue up an animation and then with the super cancel input, like you say, you're just able to stop and it makes both your opponent and your opponent's players commit to that first animation, but you have the 
possibility. And we're looking at the live group table for the console side. Looks like it will be Naples as things stand. We will be meeting Fabiano in that final later on. Zaragoza just watching the clock tick down. One last roll of the dice maybe here for Isco, but that will be that. Big thumbs up from the Mexican, but it is the Frenchman who we will see feature later on. What a showman. Kisses the badge. We thank you, Isco, for the entertainment today, but there was only one man on that stage that looked set to punch his ticket to the final from the get-go, and it was Real Fabiano, 93. Yeah, he was in control. Uh, again, we talk about professional performances. We talk about the ability to put your game plan and your best game to use. When Fabiano needed it the most, his A game came to the fore and he was able to convert. And that really set the tone, that free kick. It was a little bit of trickery, just didn't quite pull off. But even then, you could sense the confidence and you could sense what was coming. And sense even here as well. On another day, that ricochets back to an Isco player and it's tucked home in the back of the net. And instead, much like we've just seen, almost a carbon copy, it said that one met the post. That ricocheted back to a Fabiano player. And Kimmich was there to sweep it home. It really was a, a great performance from Fabiano. Really took the game by the scruff of the neck and looked in control since that 51st minute goal. It was the one-two punch as well. Just five in-game minutes later. But up to that point, Isco kept it close and you have to feel that as a result of him needing that goal swing, he needed a win. Committing those extra players forward did mean that it allowed gaps for Fabiano to exploit. And I don't want to say that the scoreline flattered Fabiano because he really was well deserving of it, but Isco needed goals. He needed a win and those points to go with those goals. And when you chase the game, where as we say it so often, you do leave those men exposed at the back. Yeah, yeah. And, and the thing is, at that time of the game, with all of the kind of permutations that the group stage had, there wasn't... He had to go for it, Isco, and that's where he left those gaps. And as we saw, substitutes were the, the real killer in that game. And Papiana was there to be able to take it home and finish off Isco's opportunity at getting to the grand final. Well, could we see our first Europe and Africa region uh, representative at the world finals? We will find out later on, as I believe Fabiano is now in the mix zone with Semra. I'm going to start calling him Fabulous Fabiano, I think, from <laughs> now on, because what a performance indeed that was. And everyone at home, bear with me once more. We're going to play that fun musical game of uh, musical chairs, rather, of languages, because I will ask him a question in Spanish, he will answer in Italian, and then I will translate to all of you in English. So first and foremost, I'm going to ask him about being a finalist in the grand final, because obviously very exciting indeed. Háblame un poco de cómo te sientes a ser finalista en la gran final hoy. Eh, sono molto molto contento perché era il mio primo obiettivo di arrivare in finale e eh, ora il secondo è vincerla perché se no non sarebbe servito a nulla. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he's very happy because his first objective was to make it to the grand final. Now the second objective is to win because otherwise it would be for nothing, I guess. <laughs> Bueno, háblame de esta victoria. Tres goles, tres puntos, un partido resolutivo, contundente, una victoria, obviamente, importantísima. Sí, no eh, he comenzado bien. He hecho un bruto primer tiempo. Eh, Podía hacer mucho mejor, pero quizás había un poco de presión. Y después el segundo, he jugado como sabía, y ha ido bien. He said it was a very nice game. It was very difficult, especially in the first half but it continued to get better, obviously, for him, and it all worked out in the end. Bueno, por último, háblame un poco de, del día en general, cómo ha ido y qué es lo que esperas de, 
de este final y, y ver contra quién vas a jugar. Eh, espero, espero de jugar contra mi amigo Naples, <risa> al menos. Eh, vabbè, eh, pero espero comunque de vincere porque eh, es la cosa más importante. Eh, vabbè, esto qua. So he's obviously hoping for an all Italian final. He wants to go up against his friend Naples. Yes. But in the end, what were you saying about the victory? No lo so. <laughs> okay, well then that's it. Obviously, may the best man win. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Grazie mille. Grazie a te. And we'll see you very soon. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao for now. <laughs> all right, guys, back over to you.